Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. The reality of Christians' warfare. As Christians, we are in battle. Well, we heard that our uh, Christian faith or our Christian life is not a playground, but rather this is a battleground. Uh, the Christianity in which we live in this world is battling against the enemy of Christianity, against the enemy of God. We heard the literal and the reality, real uh, war. Right now, the activity in the north part of the world, Russia against Ukraine, is a typical example that war is really real. The Apostle Paul said here in uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 10 down to verse number 18, that Christians are at war. Many uh, terms Paul used here for warfare. For example, the word power of his might, the word armor, the word wrestle, the word stand, an ancient soldier, Roman soldier. And so, the Apostle Paul, in his conclusion, is uh, informing us that we Christians are in the real battle. That is why Apostle Paul said in his conclusion, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Why be strong? Because we have an enemy in uh, doing our responsibilities, in doing our obligations, our Christian services. Remember, we have an enemy. The enemy is not happy while we are serving the Lord. The enemy wants us to quit. The enemy wants us to be discouraged and will stop serving the Lord. And so that's why we, we have this uh, warfare. So the Apostle Paul said here, be strong in the Lord. Well, strength is needful in battle. We need to be strong and uh, we praise the Lord because the assurance of the Word of God, Christians are strong. Why? Because we are in the Lord. And so our situation, our position is strong in the Lord. The nation that will go to battle against the other nation, see to it that they are, they are strong and that they are superior and that their enemy are inferior and weak. They will not go to war if they think that they are not strong. So we Christians are in battle and we praise the Lord because we are strong in Him. The Bible says God has power of His might. And there we got our strength. So God is powerful in battle, in war. That is why we are to be strengthened in Him. So to be strong, the Bible says, the Apostle Paul commands us to put on the whole armor of God. In other words, we need to carry it. We need to see to it that we have weapons. We have defense. We have an offense. Defensive and offensive weapons. The armor of God. Put on them. Well, we know that the armor of God is uh, stated in verse number 14 down to verse number 18. We are uh, confident of this war because we have available armor. And this armor comes from God. Because, you know, the Bible says we are not warring against flesh and uh, blood. In other words, we are not in at war with people, with persons. Rather, we are at war with spiritual strength or spiritual strongholds. And so we need spiritual strength and it is the Lord. It is the Lord in the power of His might. That's why we call it the spiritual warfare. And so the war of Christians is called Christian or spiritual warfare. The Bible says we are not wrestling against flesh and blood but against principalities, powers, powers. Rulers of darkness of this world, 
spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, these are ranks or orders of the devil's tools. The Bible scholars used to say that the enemy of Christians are three. One is the world, another one is the flesh, and third is the devil. Well, we know that the world is the system of this world, the system that influences the world, the most uh, visible, can be felt, can be seen, can be heard, can be testified or witnessed, is of course the materialistic world, the materialism. So material is uh, being the best uh, motivation in our present time. Even in schools, the teachers are are uh, inspiring pupils to learn or to study well because the work that will be prepared for them needs skills so that there will be money. Also in politics, the name is money. In businesses, the name is money. The name of politics is money. So, and, uh, and all other areas of our society, money is the best motivation today. The love of money is the root of all evil, according to Apostle Paul. Now, the world here is the system that influences our lives. And so we are in battle against this world system. The flesh, this is what we call the lust, L-U-S-T, lust, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Well, we know that this flesh is our self-ambition, our self-pleasure. So we are at war because apart from God, there is no such thing as perfect pleasure. Well, if we do not desire God, then we desire our flesh. We desire the world. But the third enemy that we have is the devil. Well, you know that the devil, the devil's tool right now, is uh, uh, deception, lying, just what he did in the time of Adam and Eve. And until now, our enemy, Satan, is the father of lies. And he went to deceive us with lies. Well, we know that uh, we are living in a very prosperous liars. Lie is being uh, the influencer of our time. And so we need to situate that lying is the, the weapon of the devil. And so we need to be strong in the Lord and to be uh, to and to stand, to be able to stand. The Bible says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. So we have here the whole armor so that we may be able to stand. In other words, we are to be victorious. The Bible says, if we do this, we will stand. We will conquer. We will really win the battle. The Lord wants us to win the battle. Christian, you are not a defeated, defeated one. And remember, our enemy is a defeated foe. We ought to be a winner. This is God's word for you today.